It's me, Carmine Stefano, the book man. And before I begin, I just want to say that I am somewhat of a High Res Studios fan, because I know here in the United States, at least, if you speak out against any entity or individuals that make a lot of money, you're blaspheming and you're going to set yourself up for a tremendous amount of ridicule. So, I am a fan of their work, more or less, the character, what should be the competition, so many different specifics of high res I am a fan of, but their recent decisions are really making me scratch my head. Now these are free to play games that they've made, I've only really played two of them. Smite on three different consoles now, which is actually just two different consoles, because if you get it on the Switch, you're just playing it off the Xbox One, and the PS4, Paladins as well, and it seems as though the recent changes are really starting to annoy me. And I'm not talking about matchmaking or anything like that, but what I'm saying is, with Paladins originally, the freebies were off the charts. If you just played the game for more than 10 hours, you can get voice packs. Well, originally it was individual voice skins, then it became voice packs when they updated it and everything like that. You could just get a bunch of cards, which was, they weren't available for you right away. And you could get all the talents, you could just get everything for free, just playing the game enough, and with Smite, forget it. You can get favor, you can get gems, they had promotions every week, two different quests for extra favor and everything like that. Now it seems like hi -Rez is getting very stingy with their freebies. And for a free-to-play game, I understand that you have to get people to buy, but kids nowadays don't understand anything involving money especially, and they'll just make their parents buy a bunch of shit anyway. You're obviously doing well financially, so that can't be the problem. You keep updating things like every single week, so obviously you're paying your developers well enough. But again, with the updates, now they have only battle passes, no more season passes, where you can just keep getting Enigma chests and whatever and smite. Now they've done the battle pass thing that they did with Paladins, where you slowly get some kind of in-game currency and maybe once in a while get some stupid shitty booster or whatever. But even so, the availability of, I mean, there was a time when just linking my Smite account to Twitch got me 15 character voice packs, 15 characters if I didn't have them, which I did, a bunch of skins for each character. I mean, with the announcements just kept coming and coming and coming with all the unlocks. I had like 80 unlocks just by, just by linking two accounts. And now the freebies are a lot more strained. And on top of that, the characters leave me shaking my head, to say the very least. But with Paladins, they just keep releasing damage units. They just released two new characters, both were damage units, and both were idiotically easy to use damage units. In uh, Imani, not Inara, and Dredge. They're just idiotically easy to use. It's pathetic. And with Smite, obviously, there are about 50 mages, 14 warriors, you made Ravana, who is clearly built to be a warrior, into an assassin after over four seasons of being a warrior for no reason other than, well, the paid tournament players like to use him in a set. Well, they like to use Kabrakan as an assassin. We can make everybody an assassin. You can make every melee character an assassin and every magical character a mage. It's with these pathetic little assholes that play this game. That's all they do anyway. So why don't you just have assassin, mage, and hunters? Just do that. But hunters would be ranged assassins because they keep trying to make them into assassins too. So whatever the case, they have no warriors, they have a bunch of mages, they turn Hera, who is the goddess of creation and marriage and fertility, into a mage that just has Argus do all the work where you can read books, and I mean I have, books of lore on Hera, and you will not read anything about Argus other than a footnote. Argus, if you read his lore, it would be, well, Hera created him. Big shit. That doesn't mean that you make her entire makeup a mage calling upon him to do all the work. You get two guys, two humans, King Arthur and Merlin, to fight against entities. Now, I know what people would say. I was against the idea of Achilles. He's a decent character. But I was against the idea of Achilles because he wasn't even a demigod. Her Heracles, otherwise known as Hercules, is a demigod. His father was Jupiter or Zeus, so that kind of makes sense. And I know the creatures like Arachne and Medusa and Cerberus and stuff, again, against Cerberus too. But King Arthur was a dick that pulled out a sword. Merlin was some guy that used magic. You're telling me that 
Merlin would fight a volcano and Merlin would win because of his spells? You tell me Excalibur can slay Zeus? I mean, are you fucking serious? And people can say, well, it's, they're in the Celtic lore. I don't care about, I don't care about fairy tales. Why don't you make Rapunzel a, a character? No, it's supposed to be entities that embody actual abstract concepts of humanity and the planet. The difference between a lotus prince who came from the heavens and shit and some guy that pulled a sword from the star. It's a big difference. If you look at old scaling, you know, primitive human scaling when it came to mythology, humans were about six feet tall like we are. Gods were 30, 40 feet tall. They could just step on you and that's the end of you. So how do you have these two characters and you haven't finished the Celtics yet. They still have an assassin. You only have six now Japanese characters because you switched Hachiman from Chinese, which is where he originally was released, to Japanese. And like I said, you're killing strategy. Because when it comes to Smite, and when it comes to Pal, well, not so much Paladins per se, because their damage outputs are just insane anyway. But when it comes to Smite, if a Mage, which is all they release now, sucks, they just make their abilities ridiculously stronger. That's it. They don't change them up, nothing. They just make them ridiculously stronger. So the competitive concepts, the strategic concepts, those concepts that drew me into high-res games, they're all gone. Everything is just offense, offense, offense. I know everything in the United States competitively is just offense, offense, offense. But I'm saying these two games had strategies. It's one of the reasons why I did like Paragon, because Paragon almost forced you to be somewhat strategic. These games now, these new characters are not forcing you to be strategic. They're just annoying. They're really just annoying. And like I said, with how stingy they're getting with their freebies and with all the different characters just being damage-only characters, I'm really questioning where high res is going in the future. Especially since you only have 100 characters and you could easily fill at least that many with any one of these religions in terms of just actual mystical, mythological godlike or god beings. <laughs> so there's really no reason to have gone the King Arthur Merlin route at this point. So I, you know, I gave you a bunch of ideas for just Romans. I mean, you can come up with a bunch of ideas for any of these. You know, what about Shiva? What about, you know, Orcus, Heimdall, Sif, Frigga, Set, Newt, they're all there. They're all in the mythology. You don't bring these, you don't bring them around. You bring Arthur, Baron Samity, Chernabog, Pele, you start three or four new religious backgrounds and make everybody just a bunch of damage units. It just, just doesn't make any sense. So the freebies, the damage units only, the lack of strategy, all these things that Tyrus is doing now is really starting to annoy me. Oh, and um, by the way, your matchmaking sucks, cock. And thank you all for watching. I have more views soon to come. So stay tuned, take care, and have a great day.